Okay, so this is part two of my bench workbench build. Um, I'm just throwing this bit in there. I've already recorded some of uh, the video already, but John here shall realise that it's going to be a very long video. So yeah, it's been split down into two parts. So let's get into this video and I'll see you in a little while. Okay, food has now been consumed. So I'm gonna now attempt to construct the, the uh I'm gonna now attempt to construct this uh worktop the way that we previously planned to do it, but in a slightly different fashion. Right. Thing is I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it into the shed itself, but we're gonna roll with this. So my plan of action is to put one leg like that, put a nail through it, because I've got nice long nails now, like that, screw in place. And do the same all four and then put it upright, hopefully. Hopefully that will work. Just trying to figure out a way of doing this, really. You got nice. There we are. Nice long nails. Which. Or crumbs, let me just go through, mind you. But it's only to tack it in place because. Yeah, they'll go through alright. I think. to do is I'm gonna to have to there it is slightly And to do some snug rethinking, but I think I've got it now. So what I've done ugh, is I've nailed it into one of the bits of the part which I just broke up. Because I had no room to be able to hammer. And now the idea is I'm going to use smaller nails to hold that in place. See a little bit of wood moving about quite a bit. On top of this leg. So I sort of buggered the angle up slightly. So I can attach that to 
again. Ooh, dear. There we go. Moment of truth. Can I flip this over without anything falling off? Oh god, that's wobbly. that it might fall over. Well, that strengthened that one up. So that's good. Could be down to the wood not being cut 100% straight. The fact that that's a little bit rickety on that side. This is sketchy. Same problem as I had earlier. This piece of wood is not level, so I need to move that slightly over this way. It's not level here, so I'm not panicking too much about that bit. That, I think, is pretty secure, if I do say so myself. So you're probably thinking, well that looks a bit bloody, you know. I ain't got much headroom, really. I haven't got much wiggle room when it comes to... I haven't got much wiggle room in my shed. So this, by calculation, should be perfect height to get the mowers on and work on them. So, I'm now gonna go attempt to pick this thing up. Thing is, that's gonna weigh a ton, I know it is. That's going to be a workout for itself. I'm going to try to get it in the shed. Okay, so it is another day. In fact, the same day that the intro was built, uh, done. 
Ooh, a little bit of rust. Oh, got some rusty water in here. Rusty water coming through, possibly. Don't know how, because I have uh, probably condensation. It's really condensation here, you know. I know that for a fact. Um, Draws of a metal shed, I guess. So, the bench is in. Seems pretty secure. It's been in here for a couple of days now. I mean, it hasn't collapsed yet, so <laughs> we're doing all right. All right. Um, so, plan of action now is to board this out so there isn't the gaps that we've got here. How I'm actually going to do that is a good question. I'm not a tired sure. I don't know if I'm going to possibly maybe attempt to break up the other large pallet. I just like move these um, these three here along. So it's like solid. More than likely that is possibly what I am going to do. I think. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go grab some wood and figure out what I'm going to do with <laughs> doing the gaps. It's a bit gross today. Well, it's not great. Quite honestly, I can't really be bothered to break up another pallet, so I think I'm just going to use the wood from the one that I broke up in the previous video. And what I'll do is I'll just move these ones across, I think. Should be able to do it. I might have to remove a couple of the original nails because it might hit those ones, but I'll I'll figure that as I go along I think. Whoa, 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 stay, stay. Right. Back here a second. Here you go, get some tools. Now I don't know if I'm actually going to need the pry bar or not. I might be able to... side get a middle there's a middle come on. release it come on got a stubborn now it doesn't want to release there we go but right, stayed in there that's annoying. Ooh. Mind nails. Whoa! Found it. It's okay. I found a nail. I think what I'm actually going to do is replace these nails because they are a bit. Yeah. You might be right. I'll just double check a second. Get that one up because that is gonna 
probably strike right in the way. There we go. Stubborn. Right. So, plan of action. Just put it in like that. Right, you can't see what I'm doing. So, here's one which I've just taken out. So, the plan of action is to put it there. side I don't think anyway so that should be alright. That can be a spare now, we don't need that one. Now I'm going to try do it so that I've got as many of these parts, uh, part stats, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll just use spare ones. Hoping as I go along, it's going to lift that side a bit. Come on, release, freeze. Just does not want to shift. All right, this one might be a bit of a fight, so I'll get back to you once I've finished fighting. Okay, new plan of action. This one is just not going to shift, so I've managed to move the one behind and I'll put a gap, one of the other bits of wood in the gap. There's a small gap between it, admittedly, but at present I just cannot get it to shift. Unless now that I've removed that one, I might have enough lever room to be able to get. The other one out. Let's try this again. so stubborn is the nails are even longer but I am indeed making some progress here why the central bits held in <laughs> these nerves okay that's why that one's so stubborn should have figured oh, I've just lost that sodding now and I oh, I have to find that one I don't know where that went
Okay, so my battery died. I uh, just really cons just set to concentrate and on get it done. But here we go. One workbench completed. I just conked my head on the shed roof again. Well, shed door frame, should I say? Because it's a bit low. So I'm exhausted after doing that now. Oh, but that was one pallet worked up done. Yeah, I've got a gap here, a little bit of a gap over here where it just didn't mesh up properly. But end of the day, that's not really gonna cause any problems because the bow is more than likely going to be sat back. Whatever I'm working on is going to be sat back and then like all that. So this would be the primary part which um, is going to be used as such. But if it presents too much issues, I can always, you know, put some sort of something there to put it in. So yeah, um, this is the shed. Got clip on light up there. It's only a literal temporary thing. Um, but like I said, it's a bit hectic in my shed. So I've mentioned a few times. There's a lot of stuff. I've got all the bits there. That's a future video. Um, I've got the bits for the, the streaming out so I can do that one. Um, there's the Atco for those that keep asking about the Atco tucked up there happily as Larry you know got the handles Ooh. hopefully that's just residue that's got on that um, so. yes I literally cover it with a plastic sheet um, we're going to ignore that Ignore that, don't don't look at that engine that no no. There's the fuel tank down there for the Atco. All the other bits are at the back there. And there's my actual low mower which I use as a glass box. Which um seems to have um been put outside. <laughs> Caught the head on the thing again. Ow. That door frame's way too low. But, yeah, i got videos planned out, when they'll be done, I don't know yet. Um, so anyway, I've rambled enough. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, click the subscribe button and ring the bell. I do live streams as well as random videos, so, random videos. Hmm, sometimes they are random. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.